I'm so numb to everything, bro. I don't feel nothing. Mm. Like I'm real, I, I'm real big on I don't give a f about nothing. So I'm not finna tell my people go crash out and I'm no damn way. I ain't just do it. I ain't I ain't gonna do it. Mm. So why I'm telling you to go do it? Mm. I ain't forget them, bro. They they want to be around this, bro. They want to be around this. Who don't want to be turned? Facts. Who don't want to be lit and turned every day? You wake up turned. Who mm. don't want to be that? Let them hate, bro. They, they, let let them hate, bro. Mm. Let let them hate. Wherever they at, they, they deserve to be right there. Facts. You like you said, it lasts longer over here anyway. Yeah, like come on, like like it doesn't. I, I always tell my people, don't get mad because what they saying. If you if you if you win it and they not talking, you ain't winning hard enough. Facts. You ain't winning hard enough. You you need to go do something, bro. You need to make them full mad, bro. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J. Hill. J. Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Uh, another special guest is in the building. Actually, a uh, fan of his music. I actually DM'd this man a couple times. He probably ain't see it, but it's all good. <laughs> big Boogie in the building. What up, brother? What's up, baby? Big dude. Big underrated. You heard me. What up, brother? How you what's feeling? Up? I'm feeling good, bro. It's feel good to have you here, my guy. For sure. All love. I see you still rolling with the whole gang. Got to. Tell me why. Where does this come from? I feel like... um. You've been doing this for a while now, and I I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. it. But appreciate I'm a little it. older, so like it's different for me. But I'm just curious from your mind. Like, t tell me, tell me the motivation behind hanging with with so many people. Well, not hanging with so many people. Your family big, so let's just put it like that. Having uh, everybody travel with you everywhere. I mean, it's a vibe. I love vibes. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? I feel like if my vibe ain't on ten, yeah, it ain't the best me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So my people, my people, genuine. 100%. Like my family genuine, so they already know what type of vibe I like. They know how I like it. They know what what's, what's wrong with me. What what make me happy? What don't make me happy? They mm -hmm. like they know they know my do's and don'ts. So it's like they make that makes me happy to make to let them pay attention to me how they do. Mm -hmm. So the vibes is everything though. Like everybody turned on their own the way. We ain't gonna get into the zodiac, but I know you're a Scorpio. And yeah. one thing about Scorpios, y'all big on energy. So what happens in the case when? One person just might not be having a good day. Don't that kind of can't that throw the vibe off the entire group? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I I asked them. Mm -hmm. I asked that person what's what's going on right mm -hmm. then and there. Like, what's up? You like oh why you but like, you like me here? Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and don't nobody like that. Like, mm -hmm. don't nobody call like, them out basically. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, what's what's up? But sometimes life hit people different. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm the type of person that I like to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be sad for so long. Like okay, I know it. I know it hurt. I know it's sad. I know it, it's a it's a it's a unreal moment. But I gotta shake it off to get back focused because mental mental yeah mental health is everything. Mm. Like you lose your mental, it's over with. Now do all your uh you get you getting a, a different type of bag now? Does all the family live with you? Yeah, yeah. Have have do have don't. Mm. So the some of them just come and just stay for months. You know what I'm saying? But have stay with me though. You know what I'm saying? So. Like my brothers, like half of them that stay with me, like they I don't, I don't want them to die on me. That's how I just feel. Like I that's how I feel. Like that's just how I feel. It's personal to me. I understand that. Like I said, like um, I'm a little older, so it's, it, it it hit different. And I was like just doing a lot of research. I see how we all want that coming from where we come from, right? Coming from the hood, we want get older, put our people on. Like that, and that's, that's like the, our dream as men, not even just from the hood, just as yeah. men. But I ain't gonna I put nobody on this lazy though. I mm -hmm. ain't got, what can I do? Right. It's, you feel what I'm saying? I'm pushing for nothing. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if I even, if I even spend money on you, gotta do, you gotta do something. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta, you gotta go get something. Like, what can you do? Like, I always tell my people, they're like, nah, I ain't finna give you this type of bag or put you in this position. What you gonna do? 
Mm. Like, okay, when 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 my when my gift gone from what I gave you, what you gonna do? Right. Now I ask that because like we see people like let's say Fifty Cent. I remember when he had the big house or the big mansion in Connecticut, mm -hmm. and he was saying like he had all the family living with him because like that's that's just a young dream for real. But eventually it goes there to selling a big house to getting a small condo because every everybody can't go with you. And sometimes we don't see that until it's time. And I was wondering if you ever thought about that. Yeah, I thought about that. But it's up to me though. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's my life though. Like I ain't feel had no like I know I work hard just to get where I'm at. Ain't nobody finna play with me to make it go back down. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind cutting nothing off. I don't mind saying F you. I don't mind bagging off for Whatever, whatever. Like, I mean, I don't want to, I don't like to fall out with people, but mm -hmm. I don't mind though. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it's life. Like we're go on every day. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So if you feel like you don't want to be around me no more, whatever, whatever, or you feel like, oh my, I ain't finna dick ride no nigga. I mean, I ain't telling you to. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, I just feel like this type of life, you'll survive longer. Because where we come from, we're coming it's do or die. Thanks. Like either you in the got motion or you feel or you got some that's going on that's going to have you in jail or you're going to die. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I ain't finna be around it. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't mind. If you ain't with it, I, I ain't finna beg you, but... No, facts. Nah, yeah, nah. Ain't, nobody, ain't nobody finna make me lose what I what I gained. Not to get caught up in too much of the, the negative side. Let's look at the positive side. I feel like on the flip side, it has to feel good to be able to be like, I told you so. Like, yeah. Because coming up, you always be like, <laughs> man, I, I swear, watch when I get on, I'm taking care of my people. And now it's like... I always told you. Yeah. It got to feel good to be in that spot, too. I don't, I don't, I don't never tell nobody I told them, though. Mm. They see it. Facts. You see it. And I when I when I, when I I do see you see looking at this shit, I'm just going to give you a look like, yeah. I ain't got to say nothing because you yeah. knew what was up from the jump. You just didn't have the faith like I had. Mm -hmm. So, and I, you know, we, 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 we it was a bumpy road for sure coming up, and I'm still going up as far as I can. So, sky's the limit. That's all I know. But that says a lot about your circle, too, though. Because it's, it, it is a lot of that that act, they see it, but they act like they don't see it. Mm -hmm. But then that's in your circle, your family. They the ones that been together from from the beginning. That says a lot about the that you put yourself around too, though. Yeah. Like so, salute salute to all of the thorough man. Let's stay there though. How you dealing with? We in the industry. We know how I get right. I know you probably got a couple. Features on a, on a project that's about to come out with drama. I feel like you ain't announced it, but like I've seen a song, I heard his voice, and it just, it just told me drama. So <laughs> we could just did that right now, right? Right? Drama, you ain't announced it, but I mean, come on, bro. Just it yeah, ain't no secret. We, a, I, I saw it and I automatically it's, it's, knew. It's gonna come out regardless. All right, bro. bro so come on, come on. on God it's, damn. It's, all right. It's for sure. <laughs> all right, but <laughs> besides from that, your last project, um, what was the name of it? Um The Real what, name of the last project. Or definition of definition big dude. Definition of big dude, yeah. Uh -huh. You had one feature on that, Fat Trail. Shout out to my guy. Yeah. And I part of me was like, man, yeah, man. Because I, I, I did interview Fat Trail, and I know he said he got mad love for you. And I'm like, yeah, that just shows how That was you. you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was my, yeah. So he was, okay. saying, he was saying how much he got love for you or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Part of me like, yeah, he only got the one feature because that's his dog. But another part of me like, hold up. You could correct me if I'm wrong. Part of me is like, you wanted other ones, but in the industry, be playing. Not saying anybody particular. Was that the experience? Be real. Nah. No? I don't need careful features from people. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm okay. gonna focus on myself. Like, Trill was just with me last night. Nah. I like, this is like my, this is my family. Like, I look at him like family. Like, feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he just moved her. Yeah. So I begged him to move her. Nah, that's my you name, bro. He, this, this dude would stay like 20 minutes away from me now. Oh, that's what's up. So I like it. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and this one of my favorite rappers, too. Yeah. When I was like 16, 17, I was out. You feel what I'm saying? He let me talk to Chief Keef last night. Sheesh. So I'm like, hold on, whoa. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But I went out one of Chief Keef beats. And he was like, oh, shorty, you approved. No cap on gang. <laughs> so we hard. talking, like, we texting that. But it's like, he like, I, I heard about you before. He was like, I see Trill call me. And then you get in the camera, I'm like, oh, big old CMG. What's up, CMG? Yeah. That's all he said. He <laughs> like, what's up, CMG? Yeah. I'm like, I don't even think that know my name for real. I, I think he just said, what's up, big old CMG? Right. I said, oh, you, you shining. And he shining. That's cool. I'm like, yeah, for sure. He was like, I heard your song before. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, big dude. He was like, that's you. I'm like, yeah. He was like, we got a link, bro. He was like, I'm in LA. I was That's like, hard. man, I'm going to come out there in a minute. So. It's all love. So you ain't want none. You ain't want no other. There was no features that you wanted to get, but you couldn't get. Nah, because I ain't gonna lie. Like, what I had to learn about the industry, it like, 
some people genuine, some people not. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't even come in the game fresh. Just you can't come in the game fresh with feelings, and that's what I did. And that's why I want to go because I'm a genuine person. It's the conversation I want to get. Yeah, and I'm a genuine person. So like certain other rappers did, and I loved it, and I like I feel a type of way about them. It hurt my feelings, and I like I went to my manager about like a lot of people. You feel what I'm saying? Not a lot of people because I ain't a people person, but I'm 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 a people person, but I'm not friendly. I get it. So when I went to my, my my team and I'm letting them know about it, they were like, they were like, no, sometimes you just sometimes they some people not like you. Some people just you gift with the talent. They ain't they ain't genuine. They just gifted. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil almost also got blessings too. He not he can That's bless a fact. you too. Come on, man. So you know Don't start that shit on here. Yeah, I'm with you, cause I'm, we can yeah, talk hey, about that. I can talk about <laughs> hey, shit. Dog. Hey, oh, I'm oh, with oh. that. 100 percent People yeah. be overlooking them devil blessings. You be talking about them blessed. Yeah, you think yeah, it ain't from he, God. Cause you gotta look at it. He can be blessed so fast and yeah, the devil blessed him with that. He mm -hmm. got to do all, evil, everything to just keep that. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. That's why all the, that's why genuine people around the world, genuine people run the world. So when they see it, they're not going to rock with you no more. Yeah. Now your name gone down the drain. Mm -hmm. Now you got negative shit coming towards your way. All because what? You're not genuine. You just like you just got the diamonds. And what you don't understand is one thing about the devil, bro. Like, we think that we could just pinpoint the devil because it's... it's, it's it looks different now. What happened no. with the devil? He make it look the same. He make it feel comfortable. He make it feel good. So when you deal, when you dealing in these activities, it feel good. It's like yeah, man. Whole time you worshiping the devil, but that's a conversation for another time, bro. But that's because yeah. that, that's why I said we get. That's my vibe right there. Yeah. But not so. It's so your team. So you ain't reach out for, to get the the features because your team already let you know how, how it was, how the game was. No, no, no. I'm saying or did you like, had to learn that on your own. I had to learn it on my own. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking certain rappers fuck with me how I fuck with them whole the time is not this. How did you learn it without saying a name, a specific name or anything? It was certain situations that came up and, and I'm like, damn. Like what? What situation? Like not don't pinpoint a particular time. I mean just I'm just curious. You know what ain't genuine. Mm. You know what ain't genuine. You feel what I'm saying? So if you deal with a, you deal with a person in a situation, it doesn't matter what it is. You deal with any person and the love ain't reciprocated. Received, you yep. know what I'm saying? Like you ain't receiving it. How you give it, yeah. Mm. Don't be blind to it. Mm. Every good feeling, you go with it. That's a fact. So you learned that before you was about to drop the tape. Yeah, no, nah, I learned it while working. Before I even thought about the tape. I would you feel what I'm saying? But okay. I mean, I don't, I don't hate nobody. You feel I just I just fall back. Like it's I'm I'm trying to paint the picture because I like I, I get it 100. Yeah, that's why like I feel it. That's why I want to talk to you about it because I'm I'm in my mind I'm wondering. Okay, you in the industry, you doing your thing, love ain't reciprocated, so you learn that ain't genuine. Then you drop the tape. So because you already learned that ain't genuine, I don't want no features. Or was it a thing where you working on the tape, you trying to fuck when it ain't reciprocating it? So it's like fuck everybody. That's what I was wondering. No, no, it's like. The first one you said. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That, yeah, you it makes sense. Yeah, like yeah. it ain't, it ain't about them. Like it, it's like it's me. Like it's my fault. Like I gotta, I gotta hit myself on the chin for that. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Because I came in the game with feelings, mm -hmm. and, and you feel what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck if you if I feel like you fuck with me, I'm finna give you my all of a, of a friend. Bun. Come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm finna give you my all of a friend bun. But if it ain't that, I see it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. how hard was that to? To, to realize or come to realization to understand and be okay with? Or was that something easy to be okay with? It I mean, I was hard here at first. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I will not listen to nothing. Mm -hmm. I won't listen to shit and I was just going with it. But like how my people is, how my OGs is, they let me bump my head. Mm -hmm. So then when I bumped it, I ain't bumping that motherfucker no more. <laughs> that mm -hmm. hurt. What was the biggest lesson you learned through all of it, you think? Uh, patience. patience. Being patient. What about it though? Um, I, I, at first I feel like, like, cause I know my heart good, and I know I ain't sour, and I know I'm a hard work, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good soul. Mm -hmm. I know I am, but it's like, the harder I was going, I feel like I wasn't getting flowers, as I should. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was like, I was really rushing it. I was like, you know what? Like I was trying to demand it, other than trying to. Just let it come, type. Shit, you feel me? So it's like when I once some one day I just sat back and be like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. What was that realization moment? Like what? What? What was that? Like what made me say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what made me say that? Oh, uh, I just you you know you know like 
I feel like I want me. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I'm just a, a normal guy. I feel like I ain't Big Boogie. I feel like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, everybody else turning up. What about me? And I know I work hard as them. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, but I'm like, I'm a, I'm a team player, so I don't never be on no shit like, oh, okay, I'll hate on this. I can't even hate on on this, man. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm real big on that. That ain't my business. Yeah, facts. But it's like, certain, like, certain shit go on on this end, it ain't going on on my end. And I'm like, what the fuck I'm missing? You mm. feel what I'm saying? And I used to be like that. I'd be like, what, the, what I'm missing? But the whole time, I, I just had to wait. Wait my turn and do what I did. It's crazy. And, and it's here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this this is about you. but uh, <laughs> This interview is about you, but I, I want to share something similar. My 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 um, my um coming to reala- realization moment was kind of opposite. And it was just recently. That's why I asked you. Like, I just went out of town, Philly, New York, and I did, like, a press run on my own. And, like, all my peers was, like, showing me love. You feel me? And at that moment, because I'm the same way. I'm like, bro, I got to, I'm turning, like, they ain't respecting me how they should. Yeah. But when I was doing an interview with my peers, giving my roses, showing my, my respect, and I understood at that moment, it was like, you know what? Where it matter, it does matter. Like, the people that need to salute me are saluting me. So I can be easy on myself. Not saying stop working hard. But I can relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro, you don't you have be, to stress you, it too much. Because at the point you be so hard on yourself, you be like, man, you trying to overwork yourself just to prove a point to them yep. all the time. Them. No, like, it's really about you. This your life. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Either they like it or not. They mm-hmm. got to respect it. No, nah, facts. You feel what I'm saying? So all respect get flowers. Oh, God, you know. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, if your lady's on go, but your meat got a fro, Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, don't use the clip as you use on your face or on the head below your waist. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, fellas, you want that jumper like Steph Curry? But your nuts is fairy? But nah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Use promo code JHill for 20% off. They're going to give you a, the, the man bag. You know what I'm saying? When you're traveling, put all your grooming needs in the man bag. You don't got to carry it in your book bag. You don't got to be all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? They got the nose trimmer. Listen, man, some of y'all nose is disgusting out here. Get you a nose trimmer. For real. This shit is disgusting. Some ball deodorant for when you out and about. You about to get it on. Put that ball deodorant on. Smell fresh. Brand new. And of course, the lawnmower 5. Make sure you holler at my guys at Manscaped. J-Hill promo code. J-Hill, one word. 20% off and free shipping. Yo, sign to CMG. <laughs> like, first of all, these got like a whole all-star team over there. Like, like when you, you got signed in 2020? Mm, Was I it that long I first signed in 2018. To 20- CMG? Yeah. I thought it was like 2020. Yeah. I remember, so Gotti brought you to his birthday show in 2018, right? With 20, it was, yeah. They Come ended, on, they ended, like in July. I know a little something, bro. Come July. On. <laughs> but it's like, we, like I said, though, like, like people don't even know, like, when I first got with Gotti, I ain't signed. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I thought, that's why I thought in, 18, in New York. and then 20, he signs you. I thought 18 was a show, you did a show in 2019, and then you signed in 2020. That's what I thought. Nah, I could be wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> how, how they go? How we go? How we go? It's like like when I first got with God, I ain't signed with him. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't signed with him. It, 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 it when I first got with bro, but it's like I told it was so re- it was so unreal to me. I'm like, damn. Oh, you know what? I'm just gone. I'm just gonna let it sit on me. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was just gonna let it sit on me. He was he was cool. He was cool with it. He was, he was fucking with it. Mm-hmm. But he was like he he, he was like you know he was, I'm let I'm he was like, I know it feel unreal. Mm-hmm. He was sitting right in front of me, so I'm like. Like this eating some shit, some seafood that I don't even know about. Like I, I, I asked for some, I asked for some wings. <laughs> and he like, what? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, ain't no wings or nothing. He like, nah. He like, he like, what you eat? I'm like, I eat hood food. Like, <laughs> you like, eat some, you eat some shrimp fried rice. You eat some shit like, you eat some shit that I can't even pronounce. Right. He, when we was just talking, like, he dude a good soul and he's smart. Yeah. So he was just talking. He was like, I ain't gonna put no pressure on you, no nothing. He was like, whenever you, he was like, next time that you come back, your mind will be made up. You feel me? He was like, go have fun, though. This is all it's about. Mm. They're like, having fun. He was like, don't chase the money, chase the dream. Mm. And then I was like, damn. I was like, what do you mean by that? And, and when, I, when I asked him, and I, but I asked him in a text message when I left. And I was like, when you said chase the dream and not the money, what you meant by that? He was like, don't go be, be he said, don't be big head about the money. He was like, the money going to be there. He was like, just have fun with your life. He was like, grow yourself up. I'm like, Damn, 
I would lie a bit. That's so, some crazy game. Because that I ain't can never really, told that. that can really go the other way though. Like you say, just have fun. You know, it's that have a, a hit, yeah, and be gone tomorrow. Yeah, like, I make I make music like I ain't never made a song. Like I can make a song right now. I feel like I ain't got a song. Period. Mm. Like I just keep going. Like I, I just love to hear myself, and that's what he like. And he he like damn. Like Boogie different. Boogie in his own lane. Boogie ain't trying to feed into nothing over here. Like he just all on him. Mm. Like Boogie love to dance. Boogie love to he just be him. Yo, that's the one thing I was telling um, Brittany. I was saying about how I love the fact that you are you. And yeah. I was telling about, like, the dancing aspect. Yeah. And, like, even just before we even get to the dancing aspect, like, coming from where we, like, the hood and shit like that. I feel like you, you got siblings, right? Mm-hmm. And your, your brothers got in, like, one of your brothers got locked up. Yeah. And another one got in some trouble. Yeah. Well, I ain't the cops, bro. I just, how the fuck you do that? <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck? I just be working, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's a respect thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, but I feel like with you, similar, let me not say similar to myself. With you, I feel like where I resonated with, I feel like you wanted to do the opposite. Like you was intentional about not going th- down that path, right? Man, who's, who's this? <laughs> Where you come from? <laughs> I won't be here for a long time. You bro. right? Hey, you right though? You right though? What the fuck? So right? where where did you that 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 mentality? Where did that come from? <laughs> bro, we working, bro. Come on, man. What? Hey, man, you hey. I fuck with it, but uh, I just feel like like I like when we were young in the household like. I was like, man, I'm gonna always give, I'm gonna give me some money. Mm. Like, cause I always used to put on the fake beads and the, you feel me? Like, put rope bands around my fingers like they rings yeah. and let me forward in my mouth and magnet earrings. I'm talking about, it lead, you take them out, they leave the den in your ear. Mm. Like, I used to do that. You feel me? Walk around with, like, I used to love Lil Wayne. So I used to walk around t shirts on my head. You feel what I'm saying? With, with, with glasses on, walking around, you feel me? Fake tattoos on my face and, I always knew, I'm like, and I used to always like put my ear, earphones in, listen to Walker Flocker, right? Mm. And I go in a room by myself and I real deal, like perform his song, like in my ear, I'm rapping the song, but I'm acting like I'm at a concert though. Mm. That's why I'm so good on stage. Like I never told nobody that. I never, you the only interview I just told it to. Mm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like any, any other interview I have, I'm, you know, I'm talking that shit, you know, I'm keeping it me, I'm being me. But I never told nobody what I just told you, though. No, I appreciate that. But well, I want to tap back into, like, you even wanting to be a performer, though. Because that comes, like, that's different. Like, man, I want to paint the picture to the audience because you know how easy it is for your siblings to go the street route and you say, make a a, a mental note that, bro, I don't want to go that route. Like, because like, that's what I did. And that's why I'm trying, I'm curious to, 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 to figure out like what? What did you learn? Like what hit home that say, bro? I don't want to go that route. That ain't what I want to do. Oh, uh, I ain't gonna like the way the way that we the way that we was raised up, and I was saying how my mama was doing it. I'm like, mm, she really ain't got it like that, but she trying. At first, I ain't even know what trying was. Mm. So I'm like, you know, this this I guess whatever she going through, I guess that's a grown up thing. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm like. I ain't gonna never go through that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I always feel like that. But I was like, nah, I wanna help her out type mm. shit. You feel me? But it was really, it was really, I just knew, like, damn, life, life a motherfucker. So I was on shit like, nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. Yeah. Nah, like, I asked that because when you in the, um, the hood, the streets, whatever you call it, it's two ways you can go, right? Cause like, you can be like, man, my mom's just struggling. It was a time where, like, this probably been older when, like, your mom's, like, lost a trailer or something, right? But it's we can go the route of, like, I need to make some money, right? I got to sell drugs. I got to do whatever I got to do. Yeah. But then there's another route, like, man, I know what route, I know where that get me, so I'm going to go another route. And that's really what I was curious about because yeah. it's easy to be like, man, I'm a, I need to get this money right now. I can't yeah, like, tell like, you I ain't going to lie. I never, I never sold dope. I never, I never, I never did none, none of it. Like, I only shoot dice. Mm. Like I don't know how to shoot dice, you feel what I'm saying? Like so, I'm. But I mean, I, you know, my people, I see it all the time. Look where I grew up at. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm from the hood for sure. But it's like that wasn't my type of that was my cup of tea to get money. Mm-hmm. Like however, I guess however you know how to do that, that's, that's on you. But I feel like only thing I know how to do to get money, I never had a job there in my life. So only thing I was doing was like cutting her, 
and rapping. Mm. But I'm like my hood, like they they was like, man, I feel like you should rap. Mom, it, they it fit you, mm. and they do and they do fit me. You feel what I'm saying? So, but I was like, nah, I just cut her and just you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. rap. Yo, what do you think? Why why do you think people choose that life when they don't have to? One, and there's another question in there. It's a loaded question, but. Why you th- do you think so? One, why do you think people choose that life? And two, why do you think the people who don't need to necessarily choose that life choose it anyway? Um, number one, they care what people say about them. They try to fit in. I mean, and then and and, and second, I I mean, some people don't got some people know they worth, but they don't got faith in it, mm. and they just bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? They just. Like you know you don't gotta go you know you you know you don't gotta go over there, but you just went over there anyway. Mm. Like that what make that what makes you survive longer too. If you go your own way. Some people don't go some people don't go off their good feeling. They just go off their mind. Like your good feeling way better than your mind any day. Mm. So if it's in your gut that's that's telling you now, like you still went over there, okay, when your life go down the drain, that's on you. Mm. And that's what happens. That when they life go down the drain, like Damn, he was small. He was, he was there. He and you still went over there, niggas, dummy. This, this film is all you can say. But when you winning, you, it, that ain't your business. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because they'll say the same thing about you if you did, if you choose that too. They'll call you a dummy. <laughs> and get what they'll be doing. Still turn, popping it. And get what and they swearing that ain't their business. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? But me, what type of person I am? Like I'm like if I know my people. In the streets or whatever, whatever, however they doing it to do get in trouble, I'm trying my best to save it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know how I feel to not have nobody. I know how I feel. That's another the way. Like when you you want niggas to win, almost sometimes more than they want them, themselves to win. When yeah. you try to save niggas and niggas just don't listen, like That's how when did you that you let them go? That don't even mess with you at all. It don't hurt. Again, not to be. I gave you all the love it was when we was bonding. So if you go your own way, if this bond die, I ain't I ain't giving it mouth to mouth to come back alive. It's always, bro. That's that down south shit. Pause, bro. <laughs> I'm from Boston. You can't just say that shit on camera like no, that. I'm just, I'm just, it's, it's real though. I'm like I'm you. not finna, nah, I'm not finna, I'm not, I'm not finna raise a man. If you you supposed to be a man, dog. Like nah, facts. You playing? We gotta survive out here. What you doing? Mm. You feel me? If you ain't trying to survive, what you doing? What? Nah, facts. I'm not finna, nah, bro. You're not finna bandwick. Nah, you're not finna drain, drain me down. Nah, fact. You know, it's crazy speaking about, um, like, people that, that it leads you down the route to crashing out, right? Uh, nigga, they be so quick. They be like, nigga ain't doing this. He should do this. He should do that whole time. They ain't doing nothing, right? It made me think of, like, because you were dancing as nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> I used to dance, too, when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like back in the day, that was the cool thing. Like, niggas could dance. Like, that was the lit thing. But it's funny because like it made me think of Bobby. We all know, we all are witnesses of Bobby Smurda and how real him and the Roddy, the Roddy Rebel shit was. We we all witness of that. So he come home and my man's just living his life. Like he's just living his life. And it's crazy to see how many people have something to say about a nigga that's clearly about that, right? We seen it. Like the nigga t- any any one of the realest niggas we seen, he took time for his mask and took longer when he had to. But niggas still has so much to say about niggas dancing. And I was wondering your perspective because you were dancing ass nigga too. But the world is clearly got. I don't. I don't even. Want, I don't even know the question to ask. Like niggas is just stupid. Like, but you have young niggas that's willing to crash out because of what the internet say. When we have every day, every day. Does that help you? Like, just continue to be you. I'm assuming it does. Yeah, like I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm numb to everything. I'm so numb to everything, bro. I don't feel nothing. Mm. Like I'm real, I'm real big on I don't give a fuck about nothing. So I'm not finna tell my people go crash out and I'm no damn way. I ain't just do it. I ain't I ain't gonna do it. Mm. So why I'm telling you to go do it? Mm. I ain't forget them, bro. They they want to be around this, bro. They want to be around this. Who don't want to be turned? Facts. Who don't want to be lit and turned every day? You wake up turned. Who mm. don't want to be that? Let them hate, bro. They, they, let let them hate, bro. Mm. Let let them hate. Wherever they at, they they deserve to be right there. Facts. You know like what I'm saying? saying? It lasts longer over here anyway. Yeah, like come on, like like it doesn't. I, I always tell my people, don't get mad because what they saying. If you if you if you win it and they not talking, you ain't winning hard enough. Facts. You ain't winning hard enough. You you need to go do something, bro. You need to make them full mad, bro. You about to drop with drama? We talked about it earlier. 
When is this dropping? February. February? Oh, so this is going to drop before that. Maybe. Well, we don't, we don't, we don't even know yet. Um... See what I want for the sake of nah, nah. So we we it's fine. We could we we could yeah, co- no. yeah we could control all this. You get what I'm saying? We cool. We cool. Um, we was talking off camera. Young nigga coming from Louisiana. Come on, bro. <laughs> like I'm I'm older than you, but I ain't that. You 26, right? 27. 27. Oh, uh-huh. congratulations, my nigga. I'm 32, so we ain't that far apart. But drama is drama. Drama is drama. Drama is drama. Coming up, drama listen to Gangsta drama. Grill, and now you got a Gangsta Grill. It give me chills talking about it. Come on, <laughs> come on, man. like come on, bro. How does Cause it, 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 it? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, cause like what made me fall in love with drummer even more. Like, okay, I, I know the Gucci's and the Goddess and I heard all that, but it's like I say, like it was like twenty twenty two, like twenty twenty two, right? I'm sitting in my late my Maybach in, in front of my house, and I'm bumping Jesus Snowfall, mm-hmm. so. My manager put me on it. So, you know, this his type of music. Like, he loves Jesus. So I'm sitting back. He like, I'm I'm, I'm going out. I go out. I bump certain things like the OG music. Mm-hmm. Whatever he bump. And I like it. I'm finna listen to it. Right. You feel me? Because yeah. that's OG status right there. But I heard drama, though. I don't like. I like when he say his name. DJ Drummer. Yeah. I be like, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> they, they might like a god to the streets. Nah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. So it's like, when I met him. He was so cool, laid back. He came to my studio session, didn't say none at all. Like he, I mean, he 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 cool. He ain't no uptight person. He in the, he, he with his jewelry on. He listening. He like, yeah, that's it right there. Mm. I, I didn't sit right there, but the whole time he don't talk how he yeah host. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, that dude, that dude, mm. dude, that dude. I ain't gonna lie. Having a DJ drummer like that's. Yeah, you got another star added on. Mm. Like this. Come on, this gangster grill, bro. Outside of you, right? What does that mean? Because you, well, both Louisiana and Memphis, because you said Memphis like embrace you like family too. Yeah, Memphis Memphis gave me my mojo. Memphis gave me my flowers. How, how, how the. How I left does... Louisiana like, I left Louisiana like, that didn't nobody, I didn't rap down there, period. I didn't rap down there, I didn't cut her down there. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't get in a fight down there. Like, I was young. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, 2010, like like the beginning of 2010, I was still in Louisiana, but in the middle, when I came to Memphis. Was you like 13, maybe? I might be doing it wrong. I don't know. We ain't I'm 27, so I was like, I was math. like 13, 14, something like that. I might say, when you got, when you about yeah. to do that shit? <laughs> you gonna have me on this motherfucker like, like crazy I too. I was like 12, something like 13, something like that, running one of them numbers. Okay. So to Memphis, right, because that's where you, you earned your stripes. Having a DJ drama tape, what does that mean to the city? I mean, it's going to shock the city. They don't know. They don't know yet. But, mm. but, but you know, they see this interview for sure they're going to know. But I ain't going to lie. Like, Memphis is a show me city. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I learned from it. But I love Memphis, though. Like, I love Memphis. I lost a lot in Memphis. I ganged up. I got a lot of respect in Memphis. 10% hate. But it's all right. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? They really so they support anyway. They don't hate long. Feel me? So, I mean, I just, I mean, Memphis, Memphis, Memphis gave me that. Like, what you think it taught you the most? Like, what was the biggest lesson you learned coming out of Memphis? Mind your business. Mm. Mind your business. You can, I mean, stay in your lane and mind your business. That's what really. That's what I learned. I don't know what nobody else learned, but mm-hmm. me personally, as a person, mind your business. Like, that ain't my business. That ain't my business because. If you put yourself in need for shoes over here, or you put them, you get in their business. Oh, now they got something to say about some. Now they got something to say about you, or they don't like you, or you they op, or your name and this and that, and you ain't had nothing to do with nothing. You know mm-hmm. what? I'm just gonna mind my business, stay away from everything. I'm just gonna mind my business. Uh, no, nah, that's a fact. Cause yeah. you you get in somebody else's business, they you in some bullshit. I feel like Memphis got a rich history when it comes to music. Yeah, Memphis got Memphis got hits. Memphis got legends. Like. Who who we got out of Memphis? Project Pat from Memphis. Project Pat, Juicy, Lit Chat. Um, I want to go pre three, pre uh, Gotti three six three six Skinny Pimp. Who Damn. else? Country Black. So you from Memphis too? Yeah. Who else? When did Memphis? Because I'm thinking I'm trying to see when did they when did the market open up far as the music? Play you feel me? Like yeah, like it's it's a lot of people. Skinny Pimp. Skinny Pimp. What year was that? 
Yeah. DJ Squeaky. Squeaky. Uh, what year was that? Damn. So Memphis has been open since 92. Like far as industry, music industry vibes. As far as on the rap side. Right? On the mainstream. As far as on the other side, you know, we have your Al Green, we got your all Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't counting that. I ain't counting that. The rap music thing came from 92. As Big Boogie manager. You can't hear him, but we just talking about uh, Memphis. I only ask that because, like, again, I'm from Baltimore, and every time I get a chance, I... Talk about my city. Yeah. Man, like, in my mind, because I'm still young. I fogo Baltimore. Nah, you know, bro. Come on, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I fogo, I fogo, I we fogo fuck, We fuck with a lot of down south rappers. So, but I I was asking that because, like, with us, we haven't broke the the, the market yet when it comes to the music industry. But because I'm young, my mind thinking Memphis, I, I automatically think Gotti. Because, like, Gotti is probably, when it comes to putting niggas on and... It like that's he's he's one of the the biggest to do it. Yeah, he's one of the pioneers of the shit. And I was just wondering, like, when you came, was Gotti already on this level of bringing artists up, or was he still like rapping coming I, up? Um, Gotti was already doing his thing. Like he was already. I ain't know. I ain't seen him, met him, none. He he was already like a star that you was looking at, like yo, Gotti, that nigga. Yeah, like like yeah, like yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Mm. Like anybody that made it, that ain't nigga. Yeah, he he serious. Mm. Like they all hats off. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm a respect a grinder. Yeah. Hey, dude. Hey, you Yo. doing something? I, you doing something? I want to do. It's the um. I think when I knew Gotti was smart, not just nice, right? Because we all like I'm, we all fuck with Gotti. The moment I knew Gotti was smart was when because he signed to Rock Nation at one point, right? Under Jay Z. That's when I knew Gotti was smart. Because you ain't have to, like, he ain't, at that moment, like, he was hot. He ain't really had to do that. That literally, that was strictly a business move. Talking about dinner with Jay-Z or fine. Like, that was the dinner with Jay-Z. Like, that's when I knew uh, Gotti was smart. Yeah, dude, dude, like, like, I ain't gonna lie. They can offer dude as much money in the world they want to. He'll pick that knowledge over that money. Mm. That's what I learned from him. Mm. He gonna pick, he gonna pick knowledge over anything, any, any, any gift. He gonna pick the he gonna pick the knowledge. How is it working with somebody like that? Ain't God real. I don't even know how to explain it, but Yo, you real nigga, like, I'm bro. just saying, come bro. On, I'm just being on, honest bro. because he didn't have to come. He didn't have to come deal with me. He didn't have to come put my name towards his label or come on. You feel bro. what I'm saying? Like he could have just because it's a it's a lot of rappers that I know they still been rapping for 15, 10 years, still ain't going nowhere. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like first five, seven years they popping it and now they ain't doing nothing. And they and they think they supposed to get flowers just because well, no you got to keep going. That's how you gonna get flowers. Flowers mm. only grow if you water them. Mm. But if you ain't got no water, we, that flower dead. Let's go back for a second, bro. When you said like you had to learn to be patient, things like that, things like drama, right? Don't that kind of make it not gonna work? Cause we ain't gonna talk negative over nobody, like. But like, don't it make it seem like man? Even if the music wasn't stopped today, man, like look at God. Look what look how far it came. Right? Like it gotta make like those things gotta give you gratitude. Like, man, of course you're gonna keep going. But even if it stopped today, it's like, man, come on. I'm a legend where I'm from. This don't happen. <laughs> you that gotta make you feel good, right? I it, yeah. Like, that shit, man. Damn. Yeah. I can say I can say I'm a legend before 30. Mm. I can say that. God I was a legend good. before 25. Like I was all like the love for was for, for Big Boogie in Memphis was crazy already. Mm -hmm. Before anybody knew me, Memphis gave Boogie that love before he went anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then it was with Mississippi's, all the Mississippi's and like anything that's new around Memphis, down south, anything, the whole south. Yeah, I put the whole south on my back. I went crazy. Mm -hmm. Even if they was trolling, playing, whatever, whatever they it doesn't matter. All publicity, good publicity. Dude put it down. Dude still dude still 10. No, that's Big Boogie deserved flowers regardless. Thanks. Dude, dude that. never stopped. The dude faith it made it still the same right now. I love that. You got a, a new chain. What happened to the Q Dog one? It's at the house. S tell me the story, cause like I went to college and I'm actually a Q. So I like when I seen it, I'm trying to understand. That was your brother, that was your man's name? No, nah, this is my little brother. 
That, it, it ain't my man's. That's my yeah, baby brother. brother. Yeah, that was his name. Yeah, Q Q Dog. Okay, because I'm actually a Q like from college. Yeah. Q Dog, we call it Q Dog. So when yeah. I seen the chain, I'm like, wait, was he a Q? Was it figuratively or like that was his? Nah, that's name? my little brother name, Q Dog. Where did he get that name from? That's his name. His name Quintel. So like, but like everybody was like, my this my dog. Like, like he he always had a gold little chain on, but it was a little pit bull. Yeah. So he still he loved the chain like. Even when I had got my chain from got it in the chain I bought, I'm like, bro, like put this on. He like, no, bro, I love my, love my little dog, I love, I love my little dog. Like, and I'm like, uh, he, he like, he on cute dog, he ain't nobody not cute dog, I'm cute dog. I'm like, bitch, so now Q, he kept the dog on, so that's cute dog. It's just crazy how ironic, cause like that's some like like some fraternity shit, like we yeah, the cute right. dog. So it's like when you said it, I'm like, wait, yeah. what? Like I'm thinking it has some type of correlation. Yeah, me my baby boy, man. Damn, Q-dog. man. Yo, how was it never getting like that's your little brother? Y'all clearly had some good times, and like he not being here to see see you flourish and shit yeah. like that. Mm. I don't even get sad no more, bro. I don't mm. cry no more. No. Mm. He here for sure, doing on jury. You on billboards. You on every song that come on, man. You thugging, boy. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's crazy. It ain't. It ain't. Hey, we ain't losing. Mm. We can't lose. We won't lose. Mm. We don't believe in losing. Feel what I'm saying? Like if we feel like we losing, we gonna stop everything. Mm. We gonna stop everything and go sacrifice whatever we gotta do to get that W. We finna do it. Yo, it seems like you got such a great spirit, bro. For the for the young nigga out there, that's that's that might not be having the same experience you, especially navigating through this industry because we know it can be dark. How do you like? What do you say to them to to motivate them to to, to pick their spirits up? Like, how do you get them there? You can say anything to anybody, but if they don't believe in God, it ain't gonna move for them. Mm-hmm. So you know. I had to. I had when I started believing God when I lost a person, and I was jamming. But at first, before before, like before I even before I even before she even died, bro. Like I wasn't even close to God like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I'm man enough to say, like my apologies to God for even mm. saying, "Oh God," and oh, that was back then. You feel what I'm saying? And I and I was hating everybody that did something to me. Like real did hated them. Like you know how you hate somebody. Like mm-hmm. I real did hated they soul. Like. I wish you weren't here, type shit. You feel what I'm saying? But when but my uncle was like, uh, he was like, nephew, you know why your your career not going nowhere? I'm like, why? He was like, you got a habit of hating people, and I ain't seen my uncle in two years, two three years. Swear the Lord, I can call him right now, and he'll be like, yeah, I ain't seen my nephew in two years in flesh. I ain't seen him like or heard from him. Period. I don't think I see his internet. So you feel what I'm saying? So it's really. It's really different though. So he, when he told me that, I started crying. He was like, "Man, forget them." I was shaking my head, nah. Like, yeah, no, I'm crying hard as hell. But I'm like, nah, fuck them, nah, hell, yeah, nah, yeah. I don't even cuss in front of my mama and uncles. I don't do that. But at that moment, I was cussing. I was mad because I'm like, you, you can't tell me to forget them what they did to me. You ain't me. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I feel. And I know I'm a genuine person. Like I give a person my lung if they need it, if, if I have to. You feel what I'm saying? That's if you that close to me. Mm. But other than that, like, nah, bro, like, but when I, I forgave everybody, though, like, it, 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 it wasn't that easy, man. But, like, I say, like, a month, a month or two, I started forgiving people. And that's when I started doing this. Mm. But I had to do it on my own, though. He was like, do it on your own. Don't do it because you know if you if you forgive them, you'll move up. No, nah, that's selfish. Mm. He was like, nah, do it on the real mental genuine part. He was like, if you feel like you want to forgive them, forgive them. If it ain't that deep and you be like you want to be a bigger person, forgive them. And I'm like, my eyes. So I waited like three, four, five months. And that's when like I, I let the people that hurting me, I let them come around me. You feel what I'm saying? I let them come around me or they see me somewhere, they want to speak to me or something. Or they hit me up on the internet and I see their name. I'm going to do, I'm going to talk. I'm going to dance when I talk. Mm. But other than that, I ain't going to look for y'all. I'm going to let y'all land in my lap. Mm. That's how I went. Damn, man. That's fire, bro. That's, That's fire, way. bro. It's crazy because I was talking about this not too long ago, and I was saying, man, we always talk about God and how we love God and things like that, but do we really? Because if we did, we would be able to love other people like he loved us. And I was just saying, like, imagine if God loved us like how we love people. We all would be in hell. <laughs> he would bend yeah. kick all of us to the curb. He would whoop our ass. <laughs> like, you think about it, right? Like oh, my, yeah, you say bro. you love God, but you ain't giving God's love to the people that's that's right next to you, and sometimes even the people that's closest to you, mm-hmm. right? Forget it. Forget about the, your enemy. It be the people that's closest to you that you don't. You can't even love them 
how good lo- God love you. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Nah, man, that's just real, bro. I appreciate it. This is good, bro. I, I'm glad we was able to have this conversation. Um, you're a special dude, bro. Sure, appreciate You're it. a special dude, bro. <laughs> <Appreciate> <laughs> this is good, my guy. Uh, anything we uh, missed out on that, I know we told him about the uh, the project. We're going to see whenever we want to drop this so, so it's right timing and stuff like that. Anything else? No? Nah. Yeah. Definitely got your shit off. <sighs> no. 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 It ain't gonna like it ain't right there. No, this is good, man. My nigga, man. Big Boogie, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out.